guys, my name is Darlene and I'm Lauren and we're from Green Empire Street. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a kokodama using our kokodama kit from Green Empire Street. I will personally be showing you how to make the kokodama and I'll be doing your voiceover for the video. So let's get into it. Woo! Your kit will include twine, soil mix, sphagnum moss and a plant. For this demonstration we'll be using a peace lily. You will also need a large bowl or basin and some scissors. First things first, place your sphagnum moss into the bowl. Soak it in water and rehydrate the sphagnum moss. Then wring out all the excess water until the moss is moist, not wet. Then bam! Next, cut the twine into five strings. The length will vary depending on the size of the plant. But a rough guide is cutting the string at least three times the height of the pot length. Longer is safer. Then you'll lay out your twine into a star shape and these will create your anchor points. Next, we will create the base of the kokodama. Lay your moss in the center and make a nice thick pancake. Then place your soil mix in the center of the pancake and spread out evenly. Gently remove your plant from the pot. If it doesn't come out that easily, just squeeze the sides of the pot gently and hold the top of the soil whilst tipping the plant to its side. This should release the plant. Gently peel back the excess soil and place your plant in the center of the moss pancake. Then add the rest of the moss around the root ball. Finally, compress the moss all around the plant. Don't be afraid to squeeze the ball with a firm hand. It will make it more manageable for the next step. Tie the anchor points to keep the sphagnum moss in place. Then if you need to, you can lay your plant to its side to tie the twine with ease. Once your anchor points are tied, start molding the kokodama into your ideal shape. Take your twine ball and leave approximately 10 to 15 centimeters of excess string. You will use this later to finish your design. A simple trick is to place it in the plant leaves so you don't lose it. Then start securing your sphagnum moss into place. Now you can have some fun and create a pattern. Here we use symmetrical lines but make sure to pass the center every time. Don't be afraid to tilt, mold, and move your kokodama so it's easier to maneuver the twine. Take the string that we set aside earlier and tie a knot at the very top of the kokodama. Then lead the strings back down to the base of the kokodama to tie a double knot. Cut the excess and use the closed scissors to tuck the string back into the kokodama ball. Finish off with moulding and trimming any excess sphagnum moss. There you have it, your very own handcrafted kokodama, made by you. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you enjoyed learning the art of kokodama. Make sure to tag us at Green Empire Street and we can't wait to see your kokodamas.